Hi, I'm Nina and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm putting together a bunch of short videos on how you can use the yoga wheel to improve your flexibility and also your strength and either get into some yoga poses or some inversions and back bends. Okay, all those videos, they are actually some ideas that we share with each other on a seven day practice that we had last week on Instagram that was called Will or Fit Up. This uh, seven day practice was sponsored by Dharma Buns Outfit, Pranama, Arc Fitness Project Wheels, Life for Me Mats, and also the Fit Up. Um, if you want to take a look on those seven day practice, we have more than 200 participants. You can click on the title of this video to open the description of the video. On the description, you will have information of the seven day practice and you can take a look at all participants ideas. Uh, so you have a wide range of more info that you can get on how to use your yoga wheel or your feed up trainer. Today is all about the yoga wheel. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and let's start. Our third block includes some back bends. So here from a simple hero pose, so here you can have the knees hip width distance apart. You might want to use your mat right here. And then you have the wheel just coming centered to your spine. Big inhale, hold the wheel, exhale back. Okay. And just let the head fall, everything fall. You can sh hold the shoulders on the elbows, let it fall. This is also restorative pose. Just help opening the chest for deeper back bends. Okay? If you want to increase the flexibility here and work a little bit of the quad stretch, you can bring the wheel more close to the glute. So you're working this part, your hip flexors, open the shoulder and let them fall. This is a good way to go towards Kapotasana too at some point. This is really good. Also from back bend, so we include the Kapotasana here, depending on the size of the, the wheel you have, you might want to have a distance where the wheel come between your legs, knees, hip width distance apart. If you need to make sure you can place a block between your legs, so the block will be sure you have the hip width distance apart. You can start play tucking the toes if you want for balance. I actually don't like, so I will do with the toes like this. I start by laying down. Some people like to swing back and forward at each inhalation. So I place my hands, inhalation, hips forward, Push the chest, walk back. So this is good for you to kind of stretch your hip flexors and their quadriceps, you're still holding your chest. But for going to the wheel, the wheel can go all the way down the butt because you need to go down. So you first you go down, hold the feet. And to come out again, 
can even use the wheel. Slide down, relax here a little bit. Let the chest go and slide forward. As low with control, it's used to go for a contrary pose. So child pose right here. Release the low back. So if you want to use a strap to hold your knees, we have this tendency of sliding the knees to the outside when we go to this pose. This is a good way to work. So you know, with the knee hips distance apart, keep squeezing the glutes so you save your low back for any compression or heavy pressure on the low back, okay? Really keep squeezing. As you saw, my head, I can talk while I'm going to pose. I tried, you saw what happened. So as I bring my hands close to my feet, my head pressured the wheel to pressure my butt. And this is a good reminder for you to keep squeezing and pushing your hips forward. That's how the pose is supposed to be, opening the chest and not bending from the low back. Another easy back bend is our camel pose um, using the wheel on a twisted. So here you can keep the toes tuck in. This will help for balance. The wheel will pass just right sliding on the side of your feet because you want to keep that nice twist. So remember, squeeze, push the hips forward by squeezing the glutes, engaging all your muscles on that actor spinite. Big inhale, lift the chest, exhale, slide the wheel. You can use the wheel here to support. Keep squeezing, inhale, exhale. And inhale up, exhale down. If you don't need the toes, you can keep them pointed. That's a personal choice. Exhale, inhale. Other than that, you can also use the wheel between your legs. Place the hand and just Push the hips forward, shoulders back, and look up. This will also get a nice stretch on your arms once you have them a little bit inner to your chest. So you open the chest, hands almost like together, push the hips forward, squeeze. Okay, so eventually you're able to just reach for. There is another variation for uh, the camel pose, which is almost like uh, kapotasana on your knees. But for my will, this is not the best one because again, I told you, my will can get my both feet together too much secure. But here you left. In my case, my knees will be almost like close together, okay? I will keep pushing my hips forward. I can make a fist with my hand. Keep forward, forward. Be careful with your kneecap. You're not over your kneecap. We don't want you popping your kneecap. Inhale. If you want to keep a little bit more hands together, exhale from the chest. and all the way up. If your wheel is a little bit wider and you can have actually the knees hip distance apart and the feet a little bit more to the outside, this is better because then you can really go deep and try to hold into your wheel, okay? A good one to do with your wheel would be the fish pose or supporter fish pose. So in here, we want just the wheel to be on our back on the center, fall backwards, okay? Now, the fish pose, you can even do 
with the twisted the eagle one just fall back okay let the arms fall big inhale exhale release you can do also the eagle legs all the way it really helps opening the shoulder we can roll back and forth release and massage the back and as you go forward and you get the wheel close to your low back that will improve the opening of the chest and also give a really nice feeling on your low back another way to use the wheel is working towards your up dog or cobra here we want the hands to be shoulder width distance apart we'll grab the wheel we'll be on our feet really pressing on the feet big inhale exhale drop the hips shoulder back and open the chest forward and up okay this is a really good way to work you can even do a core work here inhale exhale shoulders back really squeeze the glutes and the inner thighs up and down other possibilities include wheel and forearm wheel I'm doing both of them but I'm not fan of using wheel to work in forearm wheel just because we usually uh, don't get the right distance of the shoulder being the elbow and shoulder in alignment usually people make like an, a kind of triangle with that in this misalignment might hurt the your back okay not your spine but your back muscles so here we go so we start from here just like normal on uh, will we usually start from the bridge right big inhale here let it go exhale roll forward so your hip is going all the way high from here it's easy now to use to come with your hands into the floor really bringing the knees a little bit closer to each other if you want to use also a block between your knees so you know that your hip width distance apart squeezing the legs so activate the side muscles big inhale press into your feet into your hands and lift yourself up so this is a easy way to reach the hands into the floor and each inhalation you walk forward open the chest elongate the spine by straightening the legs okay and coming back if your will is not there place your head into the floor secure your cervical spine exhale slide back okay forearm will here we go <sighs> inhale lift so what people usually do is they grab already the wheel and they come forward grabbing the wheel so they slide right the way here keeping grabbing the wheel and they exhale they come forward and they walk forward so you see I have my I have my elbows a little bit wider than my shoulders and my hands they are forming a triangle because they are coming towards each other okay so you're twisting your muscles that you have on your arm that's why I don't like to use the wheel uh, for forearm in itself but that's that's just because of safety and alignment but you can use here you again can straight your legs working towards opening the chest and to come back 
just release the low back and swing back, okay? On a normal way to go for a form more forearm wheel, I would prefer to come here. So again, just like the wheel, knees hip width, le uh, feet hip width distance apart, placing the hands, big inhale, exhale, push up to your wheel, okay? From pushing up to your wheel, what I usually do, I come, I adjust my legs, I exhale, I come, secure my head, place the arms, forearm all the way down, hands in the same distance off the elbow, off the shoulder, place the head between the elbows and push it forward. Okay, so I'm not twisting the muscle and I can work on the flexibility of my forearm. Will walk, remember squeeze the glutes and the hip forward. I can walk the legs close as I want. And to come back, walk back, slow with control, on the wind down, and slide on the wheel, and back we go. Another way that you can use um, the wheel, working towards your wheel or Shakrasana pose, is using the wheel to work into the flexibility of your legs. So in here, you adjust yourself, and you can use the wheel to bend the leg, bring it close, foot to head. Extending. Thank you for watching. If you like, like this video. If you want to see more videos every time I upload, just subscribe and support this channel. Thank you very much. Have a great day.